So welcome to our weekly meditation, continuing through the month of uh, September and the season of creation. And I'm drawing here on some writings from the, the Catholic bishops of uh, England and Wales, combining that with uh, some words of St. Francis and some other words of Pope Francis. And talking about the the Pope says that what's become clear that what was once a major challenge for the whole of humanity has now become an ecological crisis, the way of life that we are following disregards and damages creation, forces the poor into greater poverty and threatens the right of future generations to a healthy environment. This is contrary to the vision of the gospel. Pope Francis wrote in Laudato Si, we need to experience a conversion or change of heart. But we must not think that these efforts are not going to change the world. They benefit society, often in ways unknown to us, for they call forth a goodness which albeit unseen, inevitably tends to spread. Furthermore, such actions can restore our sense of self-esteem. They can enable us to live more fully and to feel that life on earth is worthwhile. In other words, our individual actions are not only important in themselves, they can help promote a change in culture. And so with those words of encouragement, we bring ourselves to this space, this time that we've set aside. Let's just adjust our position, bring our attention to where we're sitting or lying. Notice where your feet are on the floor, adjust and feel your bottom on the seat or chair. Feel a sense of connection. And either lower your gaze or close your eyes or use the images on the screen. And start by, I've talked about the climate, notice your internal climate, your internal weather. What's going on? Notice any thoughts or feelings. Be aware of anything that you're bringing into this space. No judgment, just an awareness. But in noticing, able to gently let go. Anything happening with the body? Any areas of tension? Again, just notice your internal weather map. And then gently bring the attention to a focus on the breathing. Become conscious of the in-breath through the nostrils. and the out breath through the mouth. Maybe consciously extend that breath, make it deeper. 
be aware of the sound that the breathing makes. Be aware of the rise and fall of the abdomen. And let's see if we can maintain that focus by see not if you can count your breaths. See if you can get up to ten without losing count. Doesn't matter if you do, just bring the attention back, but just counting those in-breaths. And now broaden out your awareness back again from just the breath, bringing your awareness of the body and the breath into one. In through the nose. Out through the mouth. And in this relaxed place, some words combining some prayers of St. Francis with some modern words, particularly related to the native peoples of the Amazon. And nine, nine brief reflections a novena as it's called, which combines penitence and praise, guiding us to care for the earth and for our vulnerable sisters and brothers, especially those in the Amazon. And so I'll pause between these. The first one, the sun, St. Francis, we praise you, Lord, for all your creatures, especially for Brother Son, who is the day through whom you give us light. And then from Father Henri, from Brazil, I dream that this Amazon, so beautiful and diverse, a gift from God, is that this earth which gives life, our life, our mother, is not transformed into a desert. Our second prayer, the night sky, and on the, the image is the dust cloud at the centre of the Eagle Nebula from which stars are being formed. A mixture of oxygen and nitrogen and sulphur, a mere seven light years in length. St Francis, we praise you, Lord, 
for sister moon and the stars. In the heavens you have made them bright, precious and fair. the spokesperson for the Yanomami people of Brazil. We want the forest to remain quiet, the sky to remain clear, the evening darkness to really fall and for the stars to be seen. Thirdly, wind and air. We praise you, Lord, for brothers' wind and air, fair and stormy, all weather's moods, by which you cherish all that you have made. From Colombia, the Guaviare people, we ourselves are water, air, earth, and life of this environment created by God. Fourthly, water. We praise you, Lord, for sister water, so useful, humble, precious and poor. But from the Peruvian Amazon, now they even want to take our rivers, which have been ours forever. Fifth prayer of fire. <clears throat> we praise you, Lord, for brother fire through whom you light the night. He is beautiful, playful, robust and strong. And from a homily of Pope Francis, the gift we have received is a fire, a burning love for God and for our brothers and sisters. Sixth prayer, Earth. We praise you, Lord, for Sister Earth, who sustains us with her fruits, coloured flowers and herbs. And a lament from the indigenous people of Peru. There will be a point when we will not have this richness, and then... What will we do? A seventh prayer, those who suffer. Saint Francis, we praise you, Lord, for those who pardon for love of you, who bear sickness and trial. from the Jaminawa people in Brazil. I speak for my brothers and sisters who are threatened, assassinated, who do not hold the rights to their land. How long must we wait for a reply? Eighth prayer. Peace. Blessed are those who endure in peace. By you, Most High, they will be crowned. And from the Amazon Synod of 2019, final document, we want to support a culture of peace and respect, not violence and violation.
And finally, a ninth prayer, creation. Most high, all-powerful Lord, all praise is yours, all glory, honour and blessings. To you alone, most high, do they belong. And Pope Francis, finally, let us sing as we go. May our struggles and our concern for this planet never take away the joy of our hope. Let us sing as we go. May our struggles and our concern for this planet never take away the joy of our hope. And so with those thoughts of repentance, lament, but praise as well, we move to our time of silence. Maybe meditating on some of those particular prayers. Marvelling at the image on the screen. Or just using the time to be quiet and still. To let thoughts go and to be at peace within.
So we gently emerge from our silence. Perhaps taking a, another deep breath, stretching, reconnecting with our place in the room, but conscious of our wider connections as well. Breathing in peace, breathing in calm, breathing in reassurance of hope. And a closing prayer from an ecumenical service for this season of creation. May we rejoice in this day you have made. Open our eyes to behold your presence and strengthen our hands to work for justice for all of creation. Amen.